I mean, this is quite a journey. Presumably, though, with all due respect, uh, your journey has been a bit longer than that, and you can kind of go back to your stories of when you first had a cigar lit for you, and you were taught about that. Ex you taught about the experience of smoking a cigar. So, why don't we just kick this off by you telling uh, the viewers your version of the story that I just told you? Um, c cigars for me have been in the background of my life for as far as I remember. Mm. My father's always been a cigar smoker and, and indeed a pipe smoker. Um, and in more recent years, it's been uh, a very important part of my, my life as a businessman as well. Uh, but first and foremost, it's a passion. My s immediate exposure was my father opening Davidoff itself in 1980, the shop. Um, my exposure as a young boy was coming into the shop and helping out. Mm. I was a pyromaniac from a young age. So okay matches and anything like that was wonderful. I still have a collection of matches. <laughs> uh, I have kept. Presumably too young to put them up against a cigar at that point. Yes, but I still, I was permitted to own them and find mm. my mother kept them in the cupboard and I, I've now inherited them. Uh, and the cigar crept into my life uh, around the age of 16. Mm -hmm. And it was a punishment because my mother thought I was smoking cigarettes. Okay. So, Interesting uh, punishment. Well, she found a zipper Classy lady. In my <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't her idea. Okay, I see. Okay, fine. She merely went to my father and said, I found a zipper. He's smoking something. It could be cigarettes. It could be worse. You know, she, yeah. Mothers dread everything immediately. Of course. And, I, uh, and my father called me in on a Saturday to the shop. I went in in the morning, a little bit mysterious. And he got out of Davidoff number two. At that time, it was a Cuban. And he's done, as he does beautifully, always you know, disrobes it, takes it out, uh, cuts it, lights it with matches, gorgeous. Da, 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 da. And normally he would then puff it himself. And we're sitting in the, in the armchairs that are still there in Davidoff. And uh, he handed it over to me. So here you go, son, this for you. Dad, I don't smoke cigars. He looked at me a little cryptically and said, well, mm, irrespective, any time in your life, if you do want to smoke, only smoke the best. And I want to be the first one to give it to you. Here you are.